Hello everybody, it's Jean, and I'm back to show you my next flowish, trashy junk journal. <laughs> to exchange uh, papers that we happen to have around the house, we have extras of, or um, just, um, uh, just papers we want to share with somebody else. So, um, I put it in this book. It's a hardcover book. It's called uh, The English Roses by Madonna. Is that Madonna the singer? I don't know. Does she write books? Children's books? It says it's for children or, children or adults. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just have the cover to it. Um, I took out the insides to use in journaling. Um, this is uh, this is the first page and what I've done is I've attached everything using um, using the uh, tape because that way they can take it out and use it for themselves it just peels off really easily and um, you know washi tape is great for that or if she likes it here she can just glue it in herself and I put um, a couple things in here, just some stickers and a couple of tags. And um, I think that's kind of a nice way to open the book. Now, this, uh, this is divided into two signatures. This signature and this signature. So each signature contains 15 sheets or more, but you have to have at least 15 and I have a few more, but um, I tried to stick to it and I the book was so small I couldn't do any more than what I've got in here. It's packed full um, So anyway, this is a coloring page and um, I had to fold it over to fit so I just had room to tuck in a few scrap sheets of paper and then um, this is a piece of scrapbook paper that you cut up and can make tags with. And it's cardstock, so it's, it's kind of nice. I like that. Um, I went ahead and included um, a pass holder. And uh, it's got, you know, good old Mickey on there. And then this page is a beautiful shade of yellow. And on this side, um, it's, it's a uh, poster. And and so that's, um, she can either cut it up for all the words on it and then make little cards or, you know, she can just use it however she wants to. Or she can keep it as a poster because it's not actually uh, folded. And this is a, another um, map and it goes, goes through to the other side. It's a map of Portugal. It might be a Gibraltar. So anyway, it's just a section of a map, and uh, I like to use maps on the backs of my ATC cards. And this paper has a lot of texture to it, and I like that, and I like the bright colors, and each one of these little circles could be cut out as um, as an embellishment. So it's it's kind of an interesting piece there, and it's got this nice, uh, nice green on the back. This is a... Um, uh, the back side of, of a calendar page and it's a calendar page of January so it's all you know wintry and I tucked in a few things and then these are planner pages I don't even do planners but I tested out some stamps on on uh, the planner pages so she might want that and this is a, a, a little little bag and a couple of uh, heart-shaped doilies, some tissue, and a stencil. This is one of the pages from the book itself that I uh, pulled out. And uh, the illustrations are really, really nice. I, I was really excited to, to pick up this book at the thrift store. 
These are papers from from a magazine, um, a card making magazine that I picked up. Uh, it was actually an expensive magazine, um, but anyway, it had a had a lot of stuff in it for that uh, for making cards and uh, doing a lot of embellishing. This is a pirate hat from Disney. I gave her a, a Christmas postcard. That's my Christmas card to her. And some napkins before. So those are those are for her. And um, this is another page out of that magazine. It has some templates on it. Um, I don't use templates. Um, I would probably just eyeball it, but it's nice to be able to see what they are. And um, uh, she may know how to enlarge those. There's there's a trick to that. A lot of people know it, but I'm not one of them because I am not detail oriented. So I can't. Um, I've still got glue on my hands. I've been oh and tape. <laughs> I've been um, working in a journal this morning. Okay, um, anyway, this is uh, another uh, magazine page with some interesting pictures on the back and on the front. And this one's all about mixers, so it has some beaters with splatters of, of batter <laughs> all over it. Which I, I thought would be kind of interesting on a page, and then you just cover up that. Um, anyway, I... I pull out pictures that I think are kind of interesting in all kinds of magazines and I do have a stack of them. Uh, this is an advertisement and it's awfully cute. I don't know if you can actually see it. It's very cute, the little monster on a swing set in between the two kids. And uh, my mom got a People magazine with crossword puzzles and these are all the uh, vintage, the classic ones from years ago. So I pulled one of those. She gave it to me, and I don't watch enough TV to be able to know all these people. So uh, she, I tore. I thought I would tear them out and share them uh, with different people. So anyway, this one is. Um, see, now I don't even know who these people are. <laughs> uh, you might, if you do, put it down in the comments who these people are. Okay, and then this is. Uh, this is the middle of the signature, and uh, this page, I don't have a jelly pad, so I just painted on this paper and then put another piece over it and smushed it all together, and it made a nice pattern on both pages. I just use regular uh, computer paper. Uh, this is the magazine piece, and um, I didn't include the computer paper because I'm, I think I included it in another in the other journal. Um, so anyway, and it's, uh, oh, that, that, um, uh, picture there that I showed you with the monster. That's the monster that you're trying to cure from using Benadryl. <laughs> Those germs are everywhere. So that's a monster germ. And here's the, be here's the beaters with all the little splatters. Won't that be cute on the page? Um, nice little background piece, and uh, this is the pattern to make this little house, and some more pictures of mixers. Um, <clears throat> this is the other side of that page, and I included a, a pretty card. Uh, it has all about, uh, has a recipe for shortbread on the back, and it's just plain inside, so... Um, I love using those. I've used them in several things. This, I had this little thing stuck in. While well, supplies last, <laughs> but you can cut the little guy out and tuck him anywhere. And then this, of course, is my, my other half of the page, the other half of the stencil. Uh, and this, I forgot to tuck it in. I, oh, I was going to set it somewhere. Okay. Um, and the other half here, and was it here I was going to put it in? Yeah. Uh, I've got some, 
I've got some other things in here. I've got a postcard that you can paint. It's a watercolor postcard. And another uh, card that has just patterns on the front. That's the back, and it's plain. And this, I make tags out of these, so I've already sanded this for her. And that's all in the little bag. So she can unpack when she gets it. This is the other part of the calendar. And I have a, um, a little picture, a tag, and a little tag with buttons. And the back of the calendar and the nice green and um, textured paper. The other part of the map and the rest of the poster. I picked this up in a bag. There were three or four of them in a bag and it had stickers all over it. They were using them for um, hanging tags for games. And so, uh, anyway, I pulled off most of the stickers. I thought, well, I, maybe I should leave them on. Uh, here's a little frame. And again, I just put these things in with washi tape so that it can be taken off easily. Or if she wants to, you know, and she can glue it. Uh, these are just, um, this is part of that cardstock and you can cut those out and those are nice strips for borders. And then the back part of the first signature, my color book page. There's the one signature with the uh, 15 pages. And then here's the second signature. And um, I added some sticker um, pieces and well, these don't look like they're staying too well. Maybe they're not really good uh, uh, flag stickers. Or maybe just a, a bunch of them are not strong enough to hold. Maybe just one would hold better. And then the, uh, and some sticker paper there. And this little bag has some, these are little circles, dots, you know, like bullets you, you can use. It has some flowers, pieces that you can make a flower with. And uh, the Starry Night, is it Van Gogh? Uh, I'm trying to remember who painted that. Um, and the sunflowers. If I peek back here, maybe I can read who did it. Um... I know you guys all know. Yeah, Van Gogh. I was right. And then this is the um, this is the little gift bag with uh, a snowman on it because it's Christmas. And I have another another uh, frame. And then I also included one of these um, Epcot pass books. And it makes a nice little journal that you can you can journal with, and it's got all these cute stickers in it. So um, I like the two pages stickers, and that's from the Food and Wine Festival that I went to not too long ago. These are the back side. This is the back side of um, some art pages. I bought an art a large art book and. Um, I cut those out and use those for backgrounds. And um, here's another. Um, this is where I was going to put this. I needed a tall spot. And this is. Uh, I was doing some stamping on this watercolor paper, and I was playing around with my. Um, my pens, my watercolor pens, and uh, they turned out pretty. They, I think they turned out pretty nice. I, I like those. But anyway, um, those are my test pages, my test ones. And this is uh, just just solid brown paper, which is nice to have. I love solid paper just as much as pattern paper. 
Uh, this is from, um, uh, oh, where was Istanbul? Istanbul. And this is another uh, highly glossy, very high glossy. So it adds another texture to this book. This is the only sheet like that, but some really vivid images. And I really like that. This is um, scrapbook paper for Christmas, Camel and the Wise Men. Uh, some foreign um, printing. I believe this is French. And um, just a nice for covering cards. And some more uh, scrapbook paper. And this is another brochure from Europe somewhere. And I added some cards to it. Uh, these are kind of, these are called get well cards. I've been putting them in a lot of my pocket letters. Stress tip, or if you are usually late for appointments, set your watch ahead by 10 minutes. Now, I know even if you know it's set ahead, it actually does um, make you feel rushed. So, um, my friend used to do that when I was growing up. She always had her clock set ahead because she was always late. Drove me crazy because I'm an early bird. Okay, um, some more Christmas pages that that you can cut out and make tags out of and use for decorating if you're doing pocket letters or journaling. And uh, some art pages that um, have some nice images on them. This is a little baby scrapbook page and some punch outs, um, frames and tags. And that's the middle of the second signature. So this is the other side of all those pages. Um, these are very vivid. I, I, just, I just love these. Um, this is the other other half of that brochure and this is just kind of tucked in and I um, this was like the in, just shows the inside message of a, of a packet of cards so I, I painted it and then you can use the little message part if you want to for something added some more uh, stickers and the other half of the foreign um, brochure. Some more of the Instam Istanbul. Istanbul. <laughs> you know, when you say a word too many times, it doesn't ever sound right. <laughs> um, with uh, just look at that. Isn't that just amazing? That dish. So, anyway, um, and then of course, that's kind of interesting um, text. The brown page. This is the other half of my stamping experiment, and uh, this was the only one that actually turned out completely right. But um, you know, she may be able to use part of it for something else, or use the back because the back is plain. Uh, this is a mini bag. Okay, now that's in, and then I, I added this. This is kind of funny. It's a um, uh, things that people discover, and this is about uh, nursery rhymes and the reason, you know, behind the nursery rhymes. And this is, um, instead of ashes, ashes, it should have been tissues, tissues, or something. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But anyway, it was kind of funny, and I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and, and about how a yo-yo was invented. So, uh, I, I, like, uh, I like books like this because... With my watercolor pens, you can color these pictures in, so they're um, they're interesting. They're more interesting to me now than they used to be. Used to be, I didn't buy anything from the thrift store that didn't have beautifully colored illustrations. Now I like to color my own. And uh, this is the other half of that uh, page with the two long uh, paintings, and then it has a really nice painting on the back. I probably should show you, maybe, if I want to try and dig it out. They do, they all come out fairly easy. This one's not going to, <laughs> because it just barely fit in. 
So now that I'm getting it out, now that I'm getting it out, I'm going to put it back in later. I won't take time on here. But this is the, the two paintings. And then she can have her choice. She maybe would want to use something like this from a Matisse. has a lot of pieces that you can cut out. So um, that's that's up to her. I will set, I will put that in back in later. Um, again, here's some more scrapbook cardstock. Maybe I should use paper and not cardstock so much. Here's one of my uh, ATC card backgrounds, and I so I included two of those. And I made something, and I used uh, a leaf to stamp with, so I included that. It's still, she'll get it after Thanksgiving, and totally fall is over. But it's really not over until December 21st. So anyway. So that's the back of that. This is washi tape that I bought at Epcot. I really love it. It has quite a long repeat from there clear to here. And then this is the repeat from there clear to here. So um, I just love this watercolor washi. It's just beautiful. And then on the back here I have uh, another envelope that I made. I made this to send a card to my daughter and then I decided to use a regular envelope because it matched better. <laughs> this one didn't match. So uh, so I put this one in the back and I added that a paint thing and a back of an old card that's been kicking around forever and um, nice for a vintage journal or any kind of vintage work. It has some nice texture on that. And it's nice and heavy. And let's see if I can get this back in. I think it just barely fit. And there we go. Okay. Well, anyway, that's, um, that's kind of my junk journal or junk um, trashy junk journal just full of um, trash stuff I had around the house I mean it's not all not all really trash it's um, it's supposed to be trash stuff that you're you know would might ordinarily throw away some of it I might ordinarily throw away like brochures and things but other things are you know just pieces of scrap of paper that I've included uh, that I probably would use, but you know, there's so much scrapbook paper in um, in those books. You don't use it, and then you get bored with that book, and you want a new, a new one. So, you know, you gotta you gotta get rid of it. You gotta start using it up. So this is a really good way to do that. Now, this is my closure, and I used this. You're supposed to use like a fabric. But I use this because it's a little more festive for um, for the holidays. And uh, actually, if I wind it more carefully, it ties in a bow. <laughs> but that's that's the book. You can kind of see the two signatures here. You can see the two signatures. I did tape the. The strings back here I used I used two different kinds I used the the thin gold and this is a, a daisy lace so then they can take those off and use those too for something different but anyway that's it that's the trashy junk journal and this is going out to California and it was so neat because it's going to Walnut Creek California and I grew up in Concord, California, just um, just over uh, a few miles. I did use uh, a lot of my washi tape here with my stamps on it. I love that. Uh, I should probably give her a big piece. Well, I won't put it on the... Well, why not? Maybe I'll put a big piece up here. Give her some, some that are nice, nicer. So anyway, 
Thanks for watching. I start to ramble. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. So, uh, thanks again for being here and for watching. If you're all the way to the end, you should let me know who watches all the way to the very end. That would be fun. All right. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Subscribe, share if you dare, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.